Hey, Internet friends, it's Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative and magicbrad.com. And I've got a new friend online. I love connecting with people all over the world. This guy is just down 35W from Minneapolis in Texas. And his name is Coleman Baker. Are you there? I'm here. And, and it's a little bit of a drive to get to Fort Worth. From ah, not really. Not if, you, not if you got Jim Rohn uh, cassette tapes you can listen to. That's what I used to do. I don't even have a cassette player anymore. <laughs> Brad, so Times have changed. <laughs> eight track. Maybe you just put a matchbook underneath there to keep it. Player in your truck. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the days. So Coleman, I don't do these very long because that commodity of time that everybody's got that's compressed. You know, we got to get it done. So we just want to find out who you are and what you do. So who are you? You got kids, married, and all that kind of stuff. Are you a single guy? What's up? So uh, yeah, i have actually uh, been divorced for a couple of years. Um, that just sort of grew out of so were some compulsive trouble that I had. And uh, I'll talk about that more in a minute. But been divorced, started dating, um, met this, this uh, fabulous lady on Twitter, of all places. Oh. And um, we connected. She's well, your tweetheart. I, she's my tweetheart. Right. <laughs> She'll love that. Uh, anyway, uh, we've been dating for uh, eight months. Um, but we have been, we're actually now engaged. So we're planning a wedding for the fall. We just moved into this great new Very apartment cool. and uh, just, just creating a, a, a creating new life. I've got four kids, two boys, 18, 15, twin, 10 year old daughters. She's Whoa. got four kids, 20, twins that are 14, and 11. The Brady so, Bunch. The Brady Bunch. Like the Brady <laughs> Bunch. Very cool. Well, when you do your honeymoon, you want to come down to Costa Rica. I'm working on an event center down there. So, hey, yeah, I mean, you, you know, <laughs> give me details about that. Let's definitely do it. <laughs> that's, that's, so, the next thing I want to find out is what you do and what is it you got to offer people. I think you're a life coach. I am Psychic. now. Uh, I did a PhD a few years ago because I thought, man, I could do teaching for a career. You know, nobody told me when I started the PhD that the job market was terrible. Yeah. So, um, you know, I, I spent five years teaching part-time at several different universities, could never land the full-time gig. Um, and I had gone through some pretty significant challenges in my personal life, and which ultimately led me to find myself being alone and trying to reimagine what life ought to be like in my early 40s. And that's when I actually hired a life coach for me. And, and over the course of about three months, my life was completely turned around and changed. I'm in the best physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual shape of my life. Cool. And somewhere in that three months, it just dawned on me. I remember he gave me an exercise. My coach gave me an exercise and said, um, what do you want for your career? And, and the thing I wrote down was, I want to have a job where I make a significant difference in the lives of other people doing something I love. And over a couple of weeks, I was thinking about that and thought, well, hell, why don't I, like, do what he does? <laughs> I was really enjoy that. Very cool. So I got certified uh, as a life coach, got certified as a meditation teacher. And oh, that's neat. what I do. We'll have to do another one on that sometime. I did a that's series good. of uh, meditation for beginners with a friend of mine in Asheville a while back. But that would be fun cool. to do that because that's, that's something that's become very, very popular is meditation. Um, people yeah. are accepting it. It's not no weird woo-woo thing anymore. It's kind of like... It, to me, it's like taking, you erase the slate. You get all that stuff from the past and the stuff of the future out of the way and just be. Yeah, I tell people all the time, it's, there's nothing, that, it, it doesn't have to be terribly mystical, right? I mean, right. it's just training your brain. Uh, if you go to the gym to sort of make your body in better shape, to be healthier, well, this is the same sort of thing you're doing yep. for your brain. Exactly, I get it. So let's, let's do something in the future for that. But let's get back to on course. My, my wife is a life coach also, and she was a teacher at the University of Minnesota. She taught Spanish. And she just did that for many, many years, like 20 or something like that. And she decided to do something different. And she took her skills as a teacher, like what you probably did, and turned them into being a coach. So now you're no longer working for the institution. <laughs> you're working right. for I'm the people. For myself and really uh, the, the people that I work with one-on-one. -on -one. Exactly. Very cool. So when you do your work, I, got, I always got to ask, do you, are you a brick-and-mortar type office kind of guy or you do strictly online or is it a blend of both? Man, it's it, it, it thus far it has been strictly online. Mm -hmm. I've um, I have been blessed to coach guys from four continents, six different countries, um, 
I, I love the work that I do. It, it does, you know, when I talk to guys from, you know, I, I had a guy from Romania and a guy from uh, Australia and currently working with a guy from Malaysia, um, you know, that presents some time challenges, um, but, but primarily online. If there's some, if there are folks in the, the Dallas Fort Worth area that, that reached out to me that wanted to connect uh, in person, I'd be more than happy to do sure. that. Yeah. Or maybe a mastermind in Costa Rica. Plug. Or maybe a mastermind <laughs> in Costa Rica. Absolutely. Sure. Um, so before I get into my final question, because I'm, I'm kind of look, what's the process that you use? Because some people coach different ways. There's different methods of it. What, what kind of process do you use to coach people through stuff? Yeah, so my focus really does sort of harness both the, the practice of mindfulness. I just tell my clients, look, you have got to start mindfulness practice. This is where you're going to find what, I mean, it, it, it's, it's where it helps you find your power of choice. Can you define mindfulness once? Just, yeah, just, 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 I mean, being in the moment, paying attention to a particular thing on purpose in that moment without right. any kind okay. of judgment. Right. Right. Um, and I combine that with some of the, 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 the current science around uh, habits and habit formation. So I'm constantly using my skills as a scholar to do the, you know, the research around habits and habit formation. And so what we do is identify what compulsive habit do you want to overcome. Most of my clients, a lot of guys I work with, deal with some kind of sexual compulsive issue. And we hone in on the, the habit that you want to change. We spend five weeks really giving the, the client tools and resources and perspectives to interrupt that habit cycle. And then the second half, we really start to focus on where do you want to go? Got because it. what I know is this. If you keep focusing on the thing you're running away from, you're still focusing on that Exactly. Thing, right? So we, we want to interrupt the negative habits, but then we want to turn the page and start looking at where you want to go. Cool. Turn the ship around. I get it. I just got done interviewing the cigarette whisperer. He helps people quit smoking. And he has a very nice. interesting approach to it in that he first gets rid of all the shame and guilt. Yeah. And then you can start making progress. But if you enter into it with shame and guilt, it's you're always going to bounce back, I think. So yep. before I ask my favorite question, do you have anything that you are offering? Like uh, you got any freebies that people can get or anything like that? Yeah, I actually just uh, uh, posted uh, two or three days ago. Uh, revised uh, ebook that I'm giving away now for free called Unlocking Healthy Sexuality. It's targeted for men that are struggling with some kind of compulsive um, sexual habit that mm -hmm. they want to, that they're having trouble overcoming. You go to colemanbaker.org slash ebook, uh, put your email address in there and you'll get it delivered right to your, e your, your, in your okay. inbox. Coleman like the Coleman stove, baker like the baker and dot org. Org. That's right. I think we can remember that. Coleman Baker. Coleman Baker. I wonder if Colm, it's, it's does Coleman has a, has a camping stove. Do you think they have an oven? You know, I don't know <laughs> if they have an oven, but if they did, it should be called the Coleman Baker, right? Maybe, maybe there's another side <laughs> job for you. So here's my favorite question. That's the big W, the big Y. Why are you doing this as opposed to why didn't you decide to be a meditation teacher, or a yoga instructor, or a, a deep sea fishing tour guide? <laughs> Well, because I can't fish, that's why I didn't do that. But I mean, the serious answer is, um, I hired a coach to help me, and he helped me interrupt the negative patterns that I had created in my life, and helped me really sort of turn the page and start creating the kind of life that I really wanted to live. And it was in that context when I realized there are a lot of guys that are just like me that are out there, and if I can make this kind of change after 20 years of being just sort of stuck. If I can make this change, anybody can make this change. And so that's why I do what I do, because I've been there, I know what guys are struggling with, I know what they're thinking, I know how they're feeling, and I know that at times it can feel hopeless. Yep. And I wanna provide the same sort of life-changing coaching that, that my mentor gave to me. Got it. Well, there's hope for humanity because whenever I do these things, people always inevitably, they want to help other people. So we're making progress, I think. That, that's I what think they say so. in Canada, progress, progress, progress. So um, I'm an advocate of coaches. I've got a 
it's not really a coach. He's actually a massage therapist that we spend an hour talking about stuff. And then he does some body mm -hmm. work on me and gets rid of things. So I'm 60 years old and I think it's an ongoing thing. You got to keep on redoing it because, you know, it's been 60 years of programming. I got to get rid of that old stuff. That's right. right. That's right. <laughs> so if you want to stay on, I'd like to chat a little bit further with you and uh, sure. explore some future options. But I'm going to sign this one off and put it in the can and beam it up to the universe so people can find it. Thanks, Brad. Okay, Thanks I, everybody I appreciate watching. you. Thank you, Coleman. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Peace. Enjoy. <laughs>